Hello, my name is Amy. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about the historic process of creating a Tiffany lampshade. Then I'm going to show you three different ways that you can make your own lampshade out of materials you can find at home. The Queen's Museum has hosted exhibitions on Tiffany glass since 1995. They are created by our friends at the Neustadt Collection of Tiffany Glass. Their collection has lamps, windows, decorative objects, and a huge library of over a quarter of a million pieces of colored glass. In 1893, Louis Comfort Tiffany built a glass house in Corona, Queens. That's less than two miles from the Queen's Museum. It had glass furnaces, a metal factory, and workshops to make lamps. To make the glass lampshades, workers cut each piece of glass out of a larger sheet. They scratched the surface of the glass and then broke it along that line. They wrapped the edges of that piece of glass in copper foil. Then they soldered all the copper foiled edges together onto a wooden mold carved with the design. Soldering means that they put melted metal in between the cracks. It hardens after it cools. Once it was all put together, they took the lampshade off of the wooden mold and soldered the inside copper foiled edges. And lastly, they soldered a brass ring to the bottom edge of the lampshade to stabilize it. To make our own lampshade, I'm going to show you three different ways that you can imitate glass. One way uses a Ziploc bag and permanent markers. Another way uses tissue paper and glue. And the third way, you're going to need an adult to help you. It uses wax paper, crayons, and an iron. Let's get started. For each lamp, you'll need a big piece of paper. To make the stained glass with wax paper, you need an iron, wax paper, and some old crayons. For the tissue paper, you just need some tissue paper and glue. And for the Ziploc bag, you just need a Ziploc bag and some permanent markers. For all three, you'll need scissors, pencil, tape, and glue. So the first thing we're going to do is make the frame for our lamp. And we do this by taking a piece of paper and then you fold it in half. And you draw half of it on this side. So this way it'll make sure that it's not the same on both sides. So I'm gonna do this lamp like this. So we did the, the lamp part and then the base. So we want to also cut out the part where the stained glass will go. So we're gonna draw one here. And now I'm gonna cut along this line and this line. Okay, so here's our frame. I'm gonna make two more lamps in different sizes so you can see the different types of lamps you can make and the different methods you can use to make stained glass. Thank you. 
So I took my one of my lamps and I kind of traced where the outline is. And what I'm gonna do is take permanent marker and do areas of solid color like this. So to do the pattern underneath and print out one of our uploads for downtime's coloring sheets to trace. I'm gonna put the pansies under here, which you can see through the bag, and then trace it with black pen. So once you have it traced out, cut around the outside. You can glue it, you can tape it, you can staple it, as long as it sticks. So this one's ready to be hung up in the window. This tissue paper I had left over from the holidays and I cut it up into squares. So basically what you're gonna do is build out your tissue paper. Make sure they overlap. And the more glue you add, the better, because once it dries, it'll harden and be like stained glass. So when you turn it over, you can see your design. And to let it dry, put it on a spot and make sure it doesn't stick to it. So this is now dry, it's a little bit harder. Um, because it's not completely opaque, I can't trace underneath it, so I'm gonna draw it freehand with a pencil and then go over it with black marker. So this way to make stained glass with paper is probably the coolest, but it's also something you need to do as an adult. So you're gonna need an iron, so make sure it's on its lowest setting, or one of its lowest settings, and then two pieces of wax paper, some old crayons, and some child safety scissors. So this is about the size that we wanna make. So we take one piece of wax paper, and we start to shave Shave the old crayons with the scissors. You can also create small pieces. Just make sure they're small enough. I cut up a lot of crayons. You can do less than this, you can do more than this. So I left some big chunks. Now you're gonna put the other piece of wax paper over it and use your iron. Some bigger chunks might need a little bit more heat. Once it's dry, you can cut it out just a little bit bigger than the hole. And I use tape to attach it, but you can also use staplers or glue as well. When you're finished with your lamp, you can hang it up in the window so that it catches the light and so that your neighbors can enjoy it. Thank you for joining me today. And as usual, please send us pictures of what you need to communications at queensmuseum.org. Bye.